Today I have an amazing vlog for you. I'll be touring Waltham Store Market in East London. And among some people in England, it is considered one of London's best kept secrets. A quick history about this market. Dating from 1885, the market is the longest outdoor street market in Europe and spans roughly a kilometer of Waltham Store High Street. Stalls sell a array of foods, clothes and household goods and are complemented by a wide range of cafes and restaurants selling everything from Caribbean cuisine to traditional British food and more. So thank you for all my returning subscribers and viewers and if you're new here consider subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Welcome to Smart Up Travel on another adventure again and today we are in Europe's largest market and that is Waltham Stowe Market in East London. So we're going to walk around, see what's happening, see, see how everything's going, see what you can buy here. I mean it's a vast market, like I said it's the longest market in Europe actually. So there's over 400 stores here, like over here on my left you can see there's fruits being sold right here a wide variety of fruits and another thing about this market as well you can get things at such a reduced cost given the fact that it's a market now markets are one of the places in England a lot of people go to when they're really looking for you know a bargain especially street markets like this so let's see what it has to offer now you can see over here things like fish is being sold so sometimes you'll find that in the UK in some areas you mightn't be able to get like fresh fish so areas like here the Walton Stowe Market for example will be a good place to actually chase some of those bargains down like fresh fish and so on if you're ever in the UK and you're probably missing your home um, cuisine and you want to cook it and you're looking for fish you can definitely check it out here So today is a Friday, usually on a Friday is when it's a very good time to come to the markets. These are usually like the busier time, I guess. And more than likely you will get mostly all the stalls um, open. You know, some days you can come here and not all the vendors will be out. But today, from what I'm seeing so far, most of the stall vendors actually come out for business today. So that's very good especially so Fridays Saturdays definitely when you visit certain markets in the UK it's a very good time to to come so you can see we have toys for the kids being sold here hats a wide variety of hats lingerie for the ladies and if you can see for some of the prices we're seeing here we're seeing prices like five pounds which is around three US dollars you got, you got some things for even a, a pound so if you're really bargain hunting that's one of the perks for visiting some of these markets you know, if you're not really looking to, sp to spend a fortune and you're on a certain budget, then yeah. We also have jewelry being sold here. this market is very long guys as you can see we started up from the beginning and, and we're still in the market okay so it's a quite a long one and that's what I kind of like this one for is actually the variety of 
stores that are here and the length of it so definitely you can find a lot of different things in this market seems we have like a african fabric being sold here so if you're looking for good african fabric it seems that they got some fabric there you know some people prefer actually to make their own dresses maybe take it to a seamstress or a tailor and get it made These are all like handbags. It's not really brand name handbags, but they're going for like 10 pounds a bag. You know. So yeah. another fish shop right there it seems they, they have a, a few of them which is good and here you can get your yams and potatoes and things like that that stall there Sorry. again you know one of the things you look i like about these markets is this thing some of the things you can find like for example in this store they have crystals and himalayan salts and different uh beaded works that you can actually purchase here so these are some of the positives when you visit some of these markets because things you may not readily find in some areas in london you can perhaps find in this market Seem to be a mixed crowd in terms of where the uh, traders are from. I'm seeing people from uh, these Asian subcontinent. I'm seeing people from. It seems that they have a Eastern European background. You have people. I'm seeing a few people from the Caribbean so far. There was a and um, so it's a mixed crowd here. And again, we're coming up to a, a fruit store. Uh, and I must say, what, what I've noticed traveling throughout the, the UK, you'll notice that a lot of the, the stalls and I'm seeing, you find a lot of fruits. <laughs> they really love their fruits in England from what I'm seeing so far. If you had checked out the previous um, vlog I did in Shepherd's Bush Market, it was the same thing again, you know, a lot of fruits and so on, fruits being sold. So here again, we have African dresses, African fabric, and seems to be reasonable price. So it looks like we're actually coming to the end of the market and um, I must say there, there, there probably were a lot of traders that were affected by the COVID-19. So some of them would have probably had to stop trading. They wouldn't, you know, so now that the restrictions have been lifted in the UK, people are now actually slowly coming out, you know, slowly, because a long time ago, all here would have even been uh, stalls still and um, the last stall we just passed it there so it goes to show that people were still affected by the 
COVID-19 pandemic, a lot of businesses. But yeah, at the same time, you can see there's still a lot of shops here. Still a lot of shops. Have Afghan and Middle Eastern shops. You have hairdressers. You have fabric stores. You have places where you can uh, get your nails done and, you know, pedicure, things like that. So a lot of ladies will probably be interested in that. Now today, if I describe the weather for you in the UK, um, it's, it's relatively uh, mild weather today, but you would need a, a light jacket because there is a bit of a chilly breeze around. Um, you know, summers in, in, in the United Kingdom from experience is very unpredictable. Sometimes it can be very hot and then the, the next day it can totally change on you. You'll be like, what happened? I thought it was hot yesterday. Now I gotta wear a jacket. So that's just how it is in the UK. There's still a bit of a kind of airy feeling like some people, I guess, still have their precautions in terms of coming out and, you know, m mingling and probably even eating out because of this whole pandemic situation. Some people are still a bit cautious. So you can see what's around me. There's a lot of calves I'm seeing, a lot of calves. And a lot of places that deals with things like doing your nails and different things like that. So. Your, your typical um, shops that you will find on, on the high street can be found here. So we, we do have a few more stalls here. Like for example here, you can see beautiful, wonderful flowers are being sold. You know, so. On the left right here, we have Ethiopian cuisine. And a lot of people actually do this for a full-time income, you know. They actually own a, a stall and that, that's how they make them, their money. That's how they make a living. Having one of these stores, usually it works. Well, different places it works differently, but you may have to pay a certain fee per week for your plot, you know, wherever you have your stall in the market. And um, you may have to bring your own tent or gazebo and then, um, or they can provide it for you, it depends. And then that's it. So we've actually come to what will be officially the end of the market. And um, some of the markets, like I told you, have, have incorporated uh, different things in terms of like the shops and the, t and the tents usually so you can see there may be like tents right here and then shops are literally here at the same time so a unique feature that you see in most of these street markets in the UK and guys this is pretty much it this is the longest market in Europe And right here, which is another popular feature you see a lot in um, the United Kingdom, especially as it's also their, their independence or so-called independence. You see a lot of Jamaican restaurants and this is one right here. It's called, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, it's called Jerk Fusion Caribbean. So you can get things like rice and peas, jerk chicken, curry goat. They might even incorporate some vegetarian dishes as well. So, and there you have it. The longest market in Europe. That's the Waltham Store Market.